most people know how to fillet a fish uh, and remove the flanks off the fish. So what I've done here, this is about a 13 or 14 inch walleye, which is actually ideal eating size. You know, if you're in a restaurant, that's the size of walleye fillet that you'd get. I think a lot of us as sportsmen think that we need to have three, four pound walleye. And if you're fishing the Great Lakes, that might be a small fish. But here in Northern Ontario, walleye grow a lot slower because they don't have smelts and lake herring and owlwife to feed on. So you have to recognize that these fish are old. So an ideal eating size is anywhere from about 12 to about 15, 16 inches. So that's a nice fillet. It's longer than the length of my hand. I'm actually arching the knife because I want to take as much flesh off the skin and to keep the fillet intact without going through the skin. Okay, so there is the actual fillet. You can see nice clean fillet and there's the skin. You don't want to leave a lot of meat on the actual skin. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. Now, here's my clean fillet, but it's still got bones in it, okay? The bones are right down there. So I'm going to show you a technique that a lot of friends of mine call zippering a fish. I'm going to take the knife and this is the, the, what we call the lateral line that runs down the fish. I'm going to notch two notches on either side of the lateral line. See how I've made a notch there and a notch there? Look at it, I made like an arrow pointing down the fish. What I'm gonna do is hold the lateral line with my finger, just like that, and I'm gonna take the bottom part of the fillet and the top part of the fillet, and I'm going to split it. Watch what happens here when I pull on this. Watch where the fish separates. Look, I'm gonna do it slowly for you. You see how it separates? right down the lateral line of the fish, okay? So what I've got here is the top part of the fillet, and that's almost ideal to put on a strip of bacon and to roll it up. Now, here is the lateral line. This is the zippering part, okay? Watch what happens when I pull on it here. Look at, you see this thin strip of meat? In a minute, I'm gonna hold it up to the light. I don't have to be careful. I've got all of the Y bones. Look, I'm gonna try holding this up to the light for you. I don't know if you can see the transparency, all the Y bones. I'm gonna turn the strip, because there's the actual lateral line. They call it the mud line on some fish, because it's got that dark color. But it's actually a sensory organ that fish use to detect motion underwater, okay? So that's where all the little Y bones are, okay? So we've got quite a few walleye bobs here, and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder on the last one that I have here. You can use uh, lemon pepper, that works good. While the walleye bobs have been cooking, we've tried to maintain the temperature between 250 and 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And I've been watching them, and you know what? They're ready. So I'm going to be using this little protective pad and laying the walleye bobs on this nice plate. And you can see that the bacon is well cooked. Look at a whole new meaning to a fish burger. Can you believe that, how good that looks? And you can see that um, garlic pepper that we've got on there. Perfect. I'm going to take a little bite because this is actually still pretty warm. And then we're going to go inside and have our soup and our fish. What a great way to enjoy walleye and pike like this. Very easy to do, very healthy too. Wow. If you love to eat fish, you got to try this recipe. You're going to enjoy it.